The purpose of today's surgery was to get a better understanding of where we think uh, the patient's seizures are coming from. So when we do an EEG, we put somewhere between 20 and 30 electrodes directly on the scalp. Now we take the drill and we take off a piece of bone. To record the brain activity, it's got to go through the wrapper around the brain, the bone, the muscle, and the skin. So I tell people, as good as that is, it's like a black and white TV. What we were doing today was putting little metal electrodes directly on the brain. And I tell people that's like getting one of those fancy flat screen TVs with you know, HD resolution. We took the patient to the operating room and we had her put to sleep. And then we made a cut on her head and then we cut off a piece of the bone. And then we opened the wrapper around the brain that lets us look at her brain. Is the left temporal lobe. From here this way is the left frontal lobe. And then we lay these little sheets of plastic that have little metal electrodes uh, embedded in them. It's about, it's, it's as thin as a sheet of paper. Okay, all right, hold on. Take that back. Um, lay them down on the surface of the brain. We test them to make sure they're working. And then we put the bone back and we close everything up as if we were never there. And then what'll happen is she'll spend as much time as we need in the uh, epilepsy monitoring unit. What we're hoping is that we'll find that when we take the grids out, we can also remove that area of the brain where the seizures are coming from because we've learned where they're coming from and we've learned that they're not close to other important parts of the brain. The seizure focus is where the seizures originate from. And if we can remove that, hopefully she won't have seizures that are spreading across her brain. You can often take out the seizure focus without causing the person any problems. Also, a lot of times the area where the seizures are coming from isn't working the way it's supposed to be working in the first place. So removing that doesn't cause anybody any harm because that brain wasn't working properly to begin with. The ultimate end goal is to cure the patient of her seizures. That's the ultimate end goal. Quality of life for patients with seizures significantly increases if we can cure them of their seizures.